What's going on, everybody? It is that time again for Coastal TV. My name is Matthew C Glancy, T and my co-host... Peter Magazoo. What's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of our podcast and uh, episode three of Coastal TV. Pete's um, in trouble this episode, everyone, just so you know. Coastal TV exists. To <laughs> um, we're here because we want to connect you to Coastal. Um, whether you're uh, local or far away or you have no idea what Coastal is and you stumbled upon this Absolutely. video at 3 a.m. on YouTube, welcome to you too. Coastal is a church in Good Ocean morning, City, New Jersey. 3 a.m. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Good we morning. are in New Jersey, Ocean City, New Jersey, and we want to connect our community to Christ, and we want to connect you through this podcast to Coastal. Um, so we're just going to dive right in. Like so much has been going on in the last week, even since we recorded our last podcast. And yes, I think absolutely. most importantly that uh, people are really dying to hear about. And uh, we really just want to update you guys on something really serious that happened yesterday. Actually, um, the Eagles won and they beat the Giants and it was a close game. And I was I was personally really concerned with Carson Wentz not being in and yeah. Nick Foles having to step up. But I was really happy um, Five to touchdowns see for four, Foles? Four, I think. Four I think he had four touchdowns. Okay. Um, I was really happy to see him throw those four touchdowns. Um, it spoke to me. Um, <laughs> On a deeper <laughs> level. Yeah. I'm just saying, guys, like, you know, I think it's biblical that um, <laughs> everyone who believes in God should be an Eagles fan because in sure. Isaiah it Why says not? on the backs of wings like wings Eagles. Of Eagles. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really mention, I don't hear any mention of anybody else like So, that, so. if you're a Giants fan, we apologize. Um, I mean, actually, it was a really good game. The Giants yeah. really hung in there. Um, but most David importantly... had to kill a Giant. Giants are against God. <laughs> anyway, continue. Um, so my point that was cool to watch. And uh, Matt, what's going on this weekend at Coastal? Oh, so yeah, this weekend. Uh, I don't know if you guys got to see the sing off, but if you don't know by now, I love Christmas. Okay. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas time. I don't. I love cookies and milk. I like cookies and milk. Especially Christmas time because it's like, there's like, cookie swaps and stuff it's just crazy there's mad cookies everywhere at least in my life i don't know about yours Pete. Not but anyway so very exciting though which obviously is the most exciting thing of this year and that is the birth of jesus that's what we celebrate um here at coastal mm -hmm. and across america i mean that without christ there is no christmas so we'll be here. <laughs> um what's really cool is 4 and 6 p.m this sunday, sunday yeah. actually i gotta Coming make sure i don't get like that right because yeah christmas away. is on a monday that's crazy so Christmas Eve service here at Coastal, 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock. I always love um, Christmas Eve services. They're, it's like, I don't know, um, it just is set apart in a sense. Does that, that, does that make sense? Like, I don't know, you go to church on Sunday, yeah, absolutely. But I think like <coughs> at Christmas Eve you have that opportunity where people are coming to church that don't typically come to church. That's true, the Christers. The Christers, yeah. yeah. Christmas Shout and out Easter's. to the Christers. Yeah. Um, so I just think it's such an opportunity because I believe everybody is at such a heightened sensitivity this time of year um, to, like, I was, at, I was at Wendy's, all right, for instance. I was at Wendy's the other day, and literally I'm sitting there eating, and five songs play by, and I realized every song had to do with Jesus. Huh. And I was like, dude, I'm at Wendy's, like in the middle of town. That's cool. And I'm like, this is the first Noel, Away in a Manger, Silent Night, whatever. And they're all talking about Jesus. So I'm like, this is kind of a cool time to talk to other people about That's Jesus, pretty interesting. You know? Speaking of music, like what have you been listening to lately that has really been speaking to you or... Um, Maybe it's a song we do at Coastal. Maybe it's something that you've just been jamming to on the side. Like, what's been, what have you been listening to? Okay. So, um, actually, uh, I think last week you played a song, Hillsong's rendition of Joy to the World. Yeah. I think it was, right? Yesterday. And at first <laughs> I was like, Joy to the World. I'm singing. And all of a sudden I was like, Whoa, it changes up there. It's a little different. We will sing Joy. Yeah. And at first, I'll be honest, like, the person in me that likes traditional Christmas music was like, I don't know if I like that. I don't like traditional. But then guess what happens? So I'm driving in my car and it comes on the radio. And I just start jamming to it. And I'm like, I love this song. And it's just interesting how, like, your first taste of a song is not typically what you think about later. Right. And, like, now I'm like, now it's, like, on my playlist, and I'm jamming to it. And then shout out to Josh Garrell's Christmas album, if you haven't listened to it. I don't know how new it is, but it should be. I think be. it's last Christmas it came out, but it's... it's, it's it, it should be playing constantly whenever you need Christmas music, because it's amazing. That's cool. I've been listening to... Uh, um, There's a Cloud by Elevation Worship. We just did that one in service last week. And uh, it was um, like way more powerful than normal, and I'll explain why um, in, a, in a minute. This song I'm really listening to, uh, I basically listen to this song all the time. Uh, Scandal of Grace by Hillsong United came out on the Zion album in 2011 or 2012. And I love that song from the start, but they redid it. They went to Israel, actually, and they redid all of their songs, like acoustically or in different versions, um, off of their 
Empires slash Zion album. And they have this version of Scandal of Grace um, on the album called Of Dirt and Grace. <laughs> That's kind of confusing. Um, but it's such a beautiful song talking about how God, like it's like a it's scandalous. The Bible even says, like I forget what the actual Greek word is, but it's like it means scandalous, the yeah, grace absolutely. that God shows us. And this song is just so powerful. It's in 6-8 time signature, which I love as a musician and a singer and a guitar player when I play it with guitar, um, which is awesome. But the whole premise of the song is like God died in our place and it doesn't make sense and we don't deserve it. And the bridge kind of says all that. It's all because of Jesus that my soul will live. And they, at the end of this version that they do, they added like a whole other part where they, they just sing like, it's like super high. I can't even sing it. And he's going, I'd be lost. I'd be lost. I'd be lost without you. Yes, now I'm part. found singing your praise. Um, and I did that, that once uh, in our former Saturday night service, the chill service, our acoustic service. And it was awesome. Like just such a powerful song. Mm. Um, but speaking of there is a cloud, this the other song I mentioned before, uh, this week, as we go into the deep end, deep end. Um, this week, this past week, I mean, we closed with there is a cloud and pastor Matt spoke about rain and the drought and Elijah praying for rain. And on the powerful. seventh day, his servant went and said, there's a cloud beginning to swell. And that's what this song, there is a cloud is about. Like it's literally written about that moment about waiting in, in the drought and, and seeking God in that drought and asking for rain. And it was probably one of the most powerful sermons I've heard at Coastal in a long time. Um, you can check it out on YouTube as well, on our YouTube, our Facebook. There's a link in our Instagram as well. If you want to watch that sermon, it meant so much to me and really spoke to me. And we closed with this song, There's a Cloud, which kind of just took everything from the sermon and put it into a song. And normally when yeah. you do that song, it's kind of abstract because the chorus just says, we receive your rain. Um, people are like, people uh... are like whoa, is it supposed to start raining in here or something? <laughs> but after having this context given of where that yeah. song came from, what it means and why in the Old Testament, like Elijah was waiting for that cloud, that song had so much more meaning and our whole congregation kind of understood it. And the how many people sang and how many people Absolutely. participated in worship and engaged with that song was so much more than normal. And it was just um, really powerful for me from the, from the perspective I had on stage to see that happen. Yeah, it's interesting that you say that because as, <coughs> as I'm thinking, before I even get into my deep end um, part, I, like I think that's sometimes, that, that's what happens in the church today. Like when we hear a song that might be new to our ears, mm -hmm. um, typically we, we just gauge it on preference right away. Right. And it's like, I don't know if I prefer the way that <laughs> sounds, right? Like I feel like I, I did do this, that. I, I feel like I did the same thing with Joy to the World, right? Like I don't know if I prefer it that way. Um, but what's so powerful about a, a song like There's a Cloud, where some people might say, yeah, I don't know if I prefer that. And then you hear the meaning behind it. Right. I mean, to me, sometimes I would challenge anyone out there, like if you're, if you're struggling to listen to new music for any reason, um, especially when it comes to worship music, you know, stuff that's being sung in church, and you're like, man, this is a struggle for me, I don't know. I would suggest, hey, why don't you go and look up why the song was written or what what is the meaning behind Great it? Because a lot of times what you find out is these these people, like especially Hillsong Church, like they put so much <laughs> prayer and biblical uh, precept behind what they're singing right. that it's not just a song to be sung that got catchy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so we're getting to hear the context from Pastor Matt and then singing We Receive Your Rain, so much more powerful. Right. So exactly. anyway, um, so what I was going to share is actually uh, my deep end part here. Um, a young adult from our church, Matt McGrath. Um, Matt yeah, awesome guy. Um, shout out to Matt McGrath. I don't know um, if you're watching, but I'm going to make you watch. You're oh, going to have him. to watch this episode. Uh, anyway, so it was really cool. He was actually helping me because, uh, believe it or not, guys, if you don't know this, I'm getting married pretty soon. Wait a second. So am I. Uh, yeah. It's pretty, hey, Pete and I are getting married <laughs> soon. I think I have 32 days, um, nice. 16 hours, and like 33 seconds or something like that. But I'm not counting. That's what's interesting. I'm not counting. You keep telling yourself that. Yeah, <laughs> right. But anyway, so uh, this guy, Matt, actually was helping me put something together for my wedding. It was really cool. Um, he's, a, he's a carpenter, and he's helping me build this like set design thing. It's really cool. That's why we delayed filming. <laughs> this, this is tis the truth. So um, you're shouting him out to explain why. Okay, continue. Yeah, I'm explaining my life and all its problems. Anyway, so he's helping me, and we're, we're actually put, we're putting some sermons on, and we're talking. And what's really cool is, and this is what I challenge people to do, man, like you can only do so much on a Sunday with people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like this little moment where he's like, oh, hey, you got a need? Let me help you. And I'm like, sure, cool. And then we start talking about church, and we start talking about so many things. And one of the things he said to me was so encouraging. He said, Matt, and his name is Matt as well, not to be confusing, obviously. Too many Matts. Too many Matts going on the coastal. <laughs> anyway, but he says to me, Matt, he goes, now it's crazy. Like I came to Coastal my first year. He said, and I didn't really like know anybody. I just kind of came, sat in the mm -hmm. sat in the chair and was there. He said, but since I've connected with people, he's like, I feel like I'm a part of a family and I love it. Wow. And and this is a guy who pretty much 
nine months out of the year is on his <coughs> own here in the local area. Mm -hmm. um, his family lives actually in Pennsylvania. Um, so it was just really cool to hear from him. And he was just like, I love the confidence of walking into church and saying, I know these people got my yeah, back. Totally. I know these people love me. And I, I'm just, I would just say like that, that is deeper right there. Like that is going deeper with the Lord, like connecting and fellowshipping Amen. with people. So that's also another challenge I would give you guys out there. Like, man, if you're like, man, I don't know, I struggle with this, I struggle with that. Hey, maybe you need to go get coffee with somebody this week. Maybe you need to, I don't know, I know Pete got his car fixed recently, so I bet he has some fellowship with uh, someone recently. So it's like there's opportunities out there, and don't just don't just worship on Sunday. Worship yeah, all week. absolutely. So, bum 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 bum. Now is the time for the super awesome, amazing, la 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 challenge punishment for Pete Magazoo. Pete, Yay. are you ready? Yay! I'm ready. I'm excited. So here we go. All right, let's go. Explain what's going uh, on. So we are headed to Ocean City High School right now um, because Pete lost this super amazing, awesome, spectacular, blah, 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 whatever challenge. Um, yeah, he's getting ready to sing a few Christmas songs outside of the school dressed in a sweatshirt that says Gangsta Rapper. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and a nice elf hat. Hey fellas, you guys want to sing some Christmas carols? Yeah. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle. What are the words? In the frosty air. What a bright time. It's the right time to. What are the words? Rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time. <laughs> so Christian, go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle. Next, I will be playing the Pete Magazoo rendition of Away in a Manger. <coughs> oh, away in a manger. No crib for a bed The little Lord Jesus lay down his Ooh, that guy's got a Flyers jersey on Ten. The stars in the sky Lay down where they lay And Asleep on the hay The first Noel The angel did sing On a cold winter night That something else went Noel, no Go, go Flyers! Noel Noel, Noel, El. born is the king of Israel. Oh, no tip. What the heck? Try to make a living out here. Silent night. 